Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Brandon here, and today I'm going to show you how to update your Minecraft Craft Bucket server jar file. Now, as always, please give the video a like and be sure to subscribe. And thank you to all my subscribers, you guys are awesome. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, you're going to open your server folder and you're going to locate your Craft Bucket jar file, and you're going to notice what it's named. It's 179. So there's a new version out. So what you're going to do is you're going to search Craft Bucket and you're going to search the new version. Currently the new version is 1710, so that's what we're going to search. And what you're going to do is you're going to look for the website and it's going to say dl.bucket.org slash download slash craft bucket. And we're going to go to that link. That way we have a choice that we can download whatever build we want. And we're going to go with the top build. We want the biggest number. That's the most stable version. So we're just going to click on the little download arrow and we're going to download it. And it's just going to download into the window. And once it's done, we're just going to open it up, drag and drop it to the desktop. So there it is. This is the new version. So now we can go ahead and just close our internet browser. And we're just going to add this jar file to the server folder. Now once it's in there, we're going to take the old one out and we're just going to throw it away. Because we don't need it. And what we're going to do is we're going to select the craft bucket jar. And we're just going to click it to select the name. And then hit Command C to copy it. And then we're going to go into our start not command. We're going to right click it and we're going to open with text edit. Once we're in here, we're just going to select the name of the jar file up until the dot. And then we're going to hit Command V to paste in the new name. And then you're going to hit Command S to save it. And then we're good to go. Once you do that, you just double click your start dot command and it's going to open and it should work just fine. Now if you're playing a version that is 1.710 for the first time or higher it's going to prompt you to agree to these EULA terms and as you can see the server stops and it wants to log out. So all you got to do is go back into your server folder and look for that file. There it is. Open it up. And what we're going to do is we're just going to change this to true. And then hit command S to save it. Now we can close it and then all we got to do is double click the start dot command again and our files should work just fine. Now we can close this one window here, it's older. The one that says Java, we're going to leave it open because that's the window for the server. And uh, There you go guys, hopefully this video helped you out. So please leave a comment, be sure to subscribe and thank you again to all my subscribers, you guys are awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next video.